That's right, baby. Mr. Swole is back on some more Kaizen content here on the channel. So, guys, have I ever told you that I kind of love this game? <laughs> it's funny because I started off saying that this game was whack. Oh, no. And that I hated it. But looky here, man. They added it in a safe mode, which is great news for me. Because you guys know, last video I made on this game, bro, people were attacking me out the blue. It was really annoying because I was really just trying to do a showcase. And people were like, yep. And I took that personally. <laughs> so they were basically just attacking me left and right for no reason. But anyway, since the last video, they've updated the game and they added in a couple of new curses. So we're going to pay to win yet again in this video. And we're going to check out those new curses. Now, I don't know if they've added in anything else aside from these new curses, but uh, I guess we'll find out as we go. So let's go into the curse shop over here. And as you can see here, I think construction is one of the new abilities over here. Curse speech for sure is another new one and 10 shadows so those are the three new ones that i think they've added in so thankfully i can buy construction with yen so i'm gonna do that and now we're gonna check out this curse to see how it looks it would have been nice if we had a gun in our hand i don't know but our first ability is called the dead shot ability as you guys can see it looks like that then we have our r key which is bullet rain you take out a bunch of guns and attack wow the vfx on these kills look great so then lastly we have cursed bullet which is our v key and that looks like that dang man i feel like for this being one of the cheapest curses in the game it actually is a great bang for your buck <laughs> see what i did there bang because i have a gun no? okay all right i'll stop guys by the way i forgot to mention this while i was recording this video but if you guys want good luck at your school this next week my boy you know you want to pass all those tests and stuff like that I got an exclusive deal for you. Drop a like on the video and you'll get all the good luck for this next week at school, man. And you'll pass your tests. Don't risk it. If you don't drop a like, you're going to fail. Oh, okay, no. so let's check out our abilities on a regular... Whoa. One shot kill for that dead shot ability. What about the R key? Let's see how that looks. Okay, the R key is not as powerful. And you can M1, by the way, while you're using this curse. Again, missed opportunity. We could have just simply had a gun shooting and stuff or whatever. So let's see this cursed bullet ability. All right, that's also a one shot kill. But yeah, the, the dead shot, it makes sense, right? Because it's called dead shot. But that move, wow. Now, obviously, granted, these bandits are very, very low level. So against higher level enemies, it might not necessarily be a one shot kill. Intriguing. So they've added in spawn points, I'm assuming now, guys, because we have a spawn setter named Hayami over here. So let's, uh, let's see. I made my way over to Jujutsu High. Let's see if there's also a spawn setter. Yep, there is. Oh, that is sick. All right, I'm going to set my spawn point here because honestly, I why would I spawn at the noob area? I'd rather just spawn at Jujutsu High, but I'm glad they added in these small quality of life updates into the game already because spawning back in at this noob area was just kind of annoying. So now that we're here, we can check out this dead shot ability on this level 80. Uh, and I completely missed it. Okay, let's use the curse shot. Is that a one shot kill? Indeed, it is not. It almost was though, which is crazy. Okay, so let's try the fire shrooms who are level 110. Dead shot. Mm -hmm. How much damage did that do? Not a whole lot at all, guys. Okay, all right. Well, at least it was a good amount of damage against the bandits. What the hell? <laughs> guy bro all right guys so next up we're gonna buy with bow bucks the curse speech curse so this is 649 bow bucks there we go we just bought it and we also have it equipped so we're gonna check this one out interesting i don't know if this was the case before but the moon is slowly going down i never really noticed that but uh yeah that might be new with this update too i don't know anyway our e key is called explode so that's how that looks then we have our r key which is sleep so it looks like that then we have our v key which is blast away Lastly, we have our B key, which is crush. So these abilities we're obviously going to have to use on actual mobs because they all look the same when we use them. But on mobs, I'm more than sure that things are going to change up. So let's go ahead and check out our first ability, which is our E key, which is explode. Uh, they just blocked it. But uh, there you go. They exploded. Then our E key. I mean, our R key is sleep. It stuns them. V is called blast away and it pushes them away like that. That does a really good amount of damage. And then our B key, which is crush, when we use that, it looks like this. And basically, that's the effect. Uh, they get like not so much crush, but they get like a gravel tool effect around them. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't really like her speech. I think this is by far one of the most anticlimactic speeches in the game. So hopefully when we check out our next curse which is the new best one i'm assuming because this is the most expensive one you can buy it'll be a lot better than this one but uh yeah just not a big fan overall all right guys so the last curse that's new is called 10 shadows so we're gonna go ahead and buy this with bobux as well 
Uh, it's actually not even 1200 Bobux. They decided to make it 800. So, yay. <laughs> I'm happy because I don't got to spend as much as I thought. So, with this curse, we have uh, four new abilities. Now, I know that in the anime, there was only certain characters and certain things that could utilize domains, right? But I don't know. I feel like it would have been nice if they gave their own twist to domains in this game. Uh, I don't know if you guys also think that. But I just feel like a lot of these curses are going to be anticlimactic as they release them because there's only certain ones that are going to have domains, right? Uh, but all the more power to the domains for those that actually have it, right? So that's kind of like the pro cons of that whole system. But you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Anyways, our first ability is called Divine Dog. So we summon a dog and uh, basically this dog is going to attack. I might as well just show you guys these abilities on NPCs. But hold on, let me just... Wait, what the heck? Hold on a minute. Did my dog just go... Where'd he go? Okay. I guess that man ran away. Just like my dad when he said he was going to the store. So next up, we have our tongue slam, which summons like a frog. What the heck? And the frog went away really quickly. Next up, we have our new fly. Uh, wow. Okay. So that's a pretty decent looking model. You do have to hold down the button in order to fly around. And then lastly, we have our new lightning, which summons that same bird um, and does like a lightning strike. That looked really good. But let's use the tongue, excuse me, the tongue slam again. There you go. I don't know how to feel about this one either. I feel like it's kind of anticlimactic. I still believe firmly in my heart that the best curse in this game is the curse flames ability. And if you guys don't know what that ability is, highly urge you guys to watch my last video where I showcase all the best curses in this game. Uh, and if not, I might just play around with it right in a couple of seconds so you guys can see it in this video. But let's use these abilities on npcs to see how they work so the dog does happen to attack for you let's see how the tongue slam works okay i guess not never mind i wasn't able to see it because this dog just keeps knocking back these enemies so i mean the dog happens to do a lot of damage i can't tell you whether or not if it's practical though how he attacks well let's use the lightning attack that does really good damage it seems let's use the tongue slam here that doesn't even look like a slam <laughs> <laughs> what the heck homie all right well the only thing that i can say that i really 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 like is the ability to fly around because with the broomstick it didn't seem like you could fly as fast as you can with this new fly ability wowzers ironically curse flame is one of the only abilities that i do not own in this game with bow bucks because i remember i bought it with yen so yikes I'm not gonna buy it <laughs> So yeah, if you want to see me use that Curse Flames ability, just watch the last video. Um, it's it's by far, in my opinion, again, I think people are going to agree with me in the comments below, but the best curse in this game. It's just, it's great. You have a domain. You have a lot of AOE abilities. Most of the moves do a lot of damage. It's just phenomenal. So it's, it's the best bang for your bucks. Guys, you got some new codes that you can use over here on the game. Be sure to use these. Wow, that's crazy. So apparently with this update, they added in a new story quest type and a new village, a new mini boss, new enemies, and the level cap was increased to 400. Max rep increased to 150k. And they have a new smash ability for normal fists at 20 melee. I'm not gonna lie, this is a waste of money, but uh, we might as well just check out that new melee ability so you guys can see how it looks. So uh, the new melee ability is called ground smash and it looks like that wow that one actually looked pretty good what the heck how does this one melee ability look better than the majority of the new curse abilities they've added in what the heck dude so they also have a lot of other fixes as quality of life balancing and bug fixes you guys can read up and pause the video if you want to but i'm just gonna skip over that i already checked it out myself so in order to find this new area i am gonna attempt to use the new I think it was cursed speech right that had that flight ability and no it was not it was actually the 10 shadows so anyway we're gonna try to figure out where this new area is at because when i use my curse sense and i just fell out the sky but i don't really notice any new area at all interesting i think i just found the new area and it's actually massive but how are you guys gonna get there that's what i'm wondering but i'm gonna try to figure out how we get back here because i've just been flying around oh intriguing Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get here, right? So basically, this is the starter area, right? Or the starter village this is where everybody spawns in at. So when you spawn in over here, you wanna go and take, damn it, I just messed up my flight. But you wanna go ahead and take this flight direction, which is literally just, you know, going towards Jujutsu High, but you don't go towards Jujutsu High. Instead, you go to the right hand corner over here. And then you're gonna see this cave. So you go through this cave, and this is the collapsed mine shaft, as you guys can see. And once you make it through the cave, you're gonna be in the new swampy wetlands, which is the new area. Now, I don't know if there's stuff for us to do here. Oh, 
and indeed there is it's kind of hard to see but in the right hand corner they pop up so we're gonna make our way down over there and we'll see what we can do here what in tarnation oh my god wait a minute that man does a lot of damage let's see how much uh give me some of my frog i mean my frog my uh my wolf are we doing damage to him i can't even see this guy's hp bar for me to tell if i'm doing good amount of damage or what but i don't know how how strong they are and what level these guys are but uh we also have this boss over here who's joko the flame legend he's level 205 okay so it doesn't seem like this area is going to be that crazy high level but here is the new uh village which is nice because for the longest i was wondering wh where the hell is this village because i don't know if you guys have been playing this game since it first came out but if you were to use a shrine this area was locked before you couldn't even like I see nothing and i was like okay where is that on the map and i was never able to find it but uh i guess the reason was because it was never in the game they just now added it so this is the new area they have like a new story quest slash quest line that we can follow here and i just turned off my my sense that's why it was so dark over here my curse sense but um yeah who the heck is this guy pick a quest for you to do joko level requirement 205 okay so I guess this is the only dude that's going to give you side quests in this area because it doesn't seem that when I activate my curse sense, it tells me about anybody else. For some reason, it doesn't even tell you about this guy being a side quest. And I guess since they said in the Discord server that this was like a small village, that's the reason behind there not being like much to do here. Like we can't even deconstruct modules here swap our curses, nothing. So and is this like a giant cockroach or something? What the hell is this? What's up, homie? How you doing, sir? Okay, I can't see the HP on this guy either, so I don't know what level that man is. So down over here, we also have another story quest NPC, which is like a bunch of injured peeps slash dead dudes. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this new swamp area is massive. I feel like it's really, really big. Most of it is empty. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I don't know. I don't know what they plan to add into this area in the future updates if they plan to add on to this area because it's just so big and empty and i feel like there's not much to do here so it's kind of like what's the point you know but yeah that's pretty much it for the new update new curses and all that stuff you guys let me know your thoughts and opinion on the first update for the game i'm gonna try to grind off camera and for the next video i think i have planned showing you guys all the fighting styles in the game because they have some really expensive ones so that video might take me a bit to record because I got to get all that cash. But you guys let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that. Because if you guys don't want to see it, I won't record it. But otherwise, I got y'all. All right, guys. I'm going to catch y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Much love.